Yeah, cervicogenic headaches are headaches that are usually started from the from the from the neck, and usually we do have some issue, either related to the to the bone structures or to the, the to the joints or to the muscles in the in the cervical area. They are usually they could be unilateral in a lot of cases and scenarios. That sometimes they can because they do have similar uh, symptoms and signs like like a migraine, and they are a little bit overlapping between these two. Uh, they're not that frequent. They have we have about maybe one or two, four percent of all headaches, and uh, those headaches usually happening happening between you know 30 and 44 years. But usually we see these patients uh, when they come usually to ask for the care. This is the the, the end of fourth decade, and I think on the average 49 years <coughs> of age when they're seeking the treatments for that one. On the other side, we have migraine, which is very frequent. We have maybe about 1 billion people worldwide and about 39 million in the, in the America, in US who are suffering from migraine. That's very pre, uh, prevalent disease. About 12% of population uh, knew we have every single year, 17% of women and 6% uh, uh, in the men, like, means about three times less than in, uh, in, in, in the men population. And a problem that you know, we do uh, see in everyday practice, uh, everyone is seeing from from, you know, primary care physicians to the you know specialty and subspecialty physicians, uh, and could be really hard to treat. You know, my lecture was about refractory migraines, which is migraines that do not respond to regular treatments, uh, and then uh, that means they have tried you know botulinum toxin injections. They have they try calcitonin G-related peptides antibody. They try uh, you know anticonvulsants and all other treatments, and 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 we actually failed. And and the point was to see and discuss you know which kind of treatment options are interventional techniques that could help these patients. Regarding um, the lifestyle definitely affects uh, particularly cervicogenic headaches because the, the, the issue is always in the neck and patients have the, the problem you know, with limited uh, movement and range of motion. Definitely lifestyle using uh, cell phones and, 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 and uh, uh, looking uh, down and sitting on the computer, this whole, uh, I think even pandemic and work from home and everything else, you know, the people limited activities, limited, you know, uh, definitely could uh, could initiate and you know kind of increase for migraine it, it is uh, also a kind of you know light excessive light could uh, uh, kind of trigger the migraine attacks and maybe about, at least about you know 30 40 percent of people are saying that it could you know definitely extensive use of the computer and, and the, uh, cell phones could could affect and, and increase the, the, the incidence of attacks.